Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to Live Inspired Podcast with John O'Leary, Monday Morning Moments. I record these so that you may begin your week in awe and on fire with a burst of inspiration. Okay, I have some new information for you. You may want to be seated while you hear this. You ready? We are a week away just about from the American presidential election of 2020. This one might be one of the most important and impactful in our country's history to date. And it's one that is certainly drumming up anxiety for most of us, regardless of which side of the aisle we choose to sit on. We have COVID numbers that are skyrocketing around the United States and in many places around the world. We have somewhat recessionary-like winds that are beginning to blow and beginning to mount. We continue to feel and, and face unprecedented environmental concerns And for many of us, that feels like it. That feels like it. That's the whole story. What I want to remind you of today is the bigger picture, the truth and the perspective that we each have within our unique circumstances in this moment to tell a very different story going forward. My friends, this seems like the perfect moment to tap back into your childlike wonder doing so will help you not only rediscover inspiration and meaning and joy within your life, but it might just free us to find a new innovative solution as individuals, as neighbors, as friends, and as a country, as a country. I selected this excerpt that you're about to hear from my recent number one national bestselling book. It's called In Awe, Rediscovering Your Childlike Wonder to Unleash Inspiration, Meaning, and Joy. I want to share it with you today to remind you of the gift that you have available within your life right now. So go go ahead. Why not read with me at home? Grab your copy of In Awe. Turn to page 42. This is the section when we're talking about how children choose to see life a little bit differently than we adults. How we adults frequently see things as stagnant and as just the way things are, a little bit more cynically. Children come at it with their hands far more wide open, with their eyes far more wide open, with their hearts and their minds wide open to possibility. So that's the construct of what we're coming into right now as I read to you from page 42 of In Awe, a story about possibility. So here we go. Children don't have a problem admitting what they don't know. It's when we become experts. It's when we think we know all the answers that we are at greatest risk of not only losing sight of all we don't know, but also losing sight of all that could still be. What if, as Muhammad Ali said years ago, the term impossible is just a word thrown around by people who find it easier to live in the world they've been given rather than to explore the power they have to change it? It was impossible for a kid to survive burns on 100% of his body. It was impossible to launch a space capsule to the moon. It was impossible to run a four-minute mile. All these things were utterly, absolutely impossible until all these things were made possible. In fact, everything that is possible today was once considered impossible. Everything everything. My friends, as you hear this, here's my question for you. What feels impossible in your life today? What relationship seems too far gone? What professional hurdle seems too high? What social wrongs seem impossibly too hard, too far gone to right? What social and and personal dreams appear simply too outlandish to achieve? What feels impossible in your life now? That's the question. And how might inviting wonder back into your life allow you to discover just how far you can still go? Here's my encouragement to recognize the foundation is firm. The best remains in front of you. So the question is this. What if you start it now? What if you start it now? A week Before the election, in the midst of a pandemic, with recessionary winds blowing and personal challenges mounting, so many of us are beginning to feel we are trapped in an impossible situation. It is more important maybe than ever before to remember that impossible is just a word thrown around by people who find it easier to live in the world they've been given 
rather than to explore the power that they still possess. I'm talking to you, that you and I, that we still possess to change it, to make it better, to make it more life-giving. Use this season, use today to be reminded of the limitless possibility within your life. It will assuredly change your world. And here's the cool news. It will also assuredly change the world. That's the good news today. My friends, eight days before the election with all kinds of negativity may be creeping into your life. I want you to know this, that the foundation of your life is firm, that the best of it remains in front of you. That's the good news today. So uh, choose to live possible. Choose to be reminded that the best is in front of you and choose to live inspired for this time. And until next time, my name is John O'Leary. That was a reading from a book called In Awe. And this is your day. Embrace it, celebrate it, live it fully, and live in awe.